Hello students, welcome to experiencetutor.com. In today's lesson, we will study class 11th mathematics complex number part 8. Let us start with the welcome message. Dear students, welcome to our channel experiencetutor.com. In this channel, we will teach physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology for the students of class 10th, 11th and 12th and those who are appearing for the school board examinations and entrance examinations like IIT, NEET and all state level engineering and medical examinations. This course is organized according to different topics for each subjects. Therefore, it contains separate video for each and individual topics. Hence, it covers complete syllabus for CBSC, ICSC, ISC and all the state board examinations and engineering and medical examinations. You can also find the relevant topics for foreign school examinations like SAT, IGCSE, IB, etc. Enjoy your learning. Thank you. Now we'll study about Now we'll study about geometry of complex number. If a line PQ where P is equal to Z1 and Q is equal to Z2 is drawn and R is the point where it divides the line into M is to N ratio then R point R will be equal to mz2 plus nz1 upon m plus n. The, if r divides the line into two equal parts then r is the midpoint and midpoint is equal to z1 plus z2 upon 3. Why? Because m and n ratio is 1 is to 1. Centroid of a triangle in this way, centroid of the triangle will be Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3 upon 3. Now, condition for a parallel parallelogram. We know that parallelogram opposite sides are equal and parallel. Therefore, if a parallelogram is made up of PQRS with complex number Z1, Z2, Z3, Z4 then Z1 plus Z3 is equal to Z2 plus Z4 condition for a rhombus similarly if a rhombus is made up of four points PQRS with complex numbers Z1, Z2, Z3 and Z4 then it satisfies two rules for rhombus. First, the it it is it should be a parallelogram. So it satisfies the laws of parallelogram that opposite sides are equal in parallel. So Z1 plus Z3 is equal to Z2 plus Z4, and it's adjacent sides are equal so z4 minus z1 is equal to z2 minus z z1 square we know by nature square is a parallelogram therefore it satisfies 
the condition for parallelogram that is opposite sides are equal in parallel that is z1 plus z3 is equal to z2 plus z4 b for a square the adjacent sides are equal therefore z4 minus z1 is equal to z2 minus z1 and c the diagonals of a parallelogram are equal therefore z3 minus z1 is equal to z4 minus z2 rectangle rectangle is also a form of parallelogram a type of parallelogram it is a parallelogram therefore it should satisfies the condition for a parallelogram therefore z1 plus z3 is equal to z2 plus z4 and in a rectangle uh, the diagonals are equal therefore z3 minus z1 is equal to z4 minus z2 rotation of a complex number if a line represented by a complex number z2 is rotated or if a complex number z1 is uh, oz1 or uh, if a complex number z1 is rotated with angle theta up to z2 then its condition will be z2 minus o is equal to modulus of z2 minus o uh, here it is zero because uh, it is o is origin therefore z2 minus o zero upon z1 minus zero multiplied by z1 minus zero bracket e to the power i theta z2 is equal to modulus of z2 upon modulus of z1 multiplied by z1 e to the power i theta similarly z2 minus z0 if the line if the point is not an origin it is uh, another complex number z0 then we can write z2 minus z0 is equal to modulus of z2 minus z0 upon modulus of z1 minus z0 multiplied by z1 minus z0 uh, e to the power i theta clockwise rotation z1 is equal to modulus of z1 upon modulus of z2 multiplied by z2 e to the power i theta if the rotation is clockwise similarly we can write when uh, oh, oh, it is not an origin we can write z minus z0 is equal to z1 minus z0 upon z2 minus z0 z2 minus z0 e to the power i theta find the condition for which z1 z2 z3 represent vertices of a equilateral triangle pq is equal to qr is equal to pr because equilateral triangle all sides are equal and angle p is equal to angle q is equal to angle r is equal to 60 degree that is pi by 3 therefore you can write instead of pq you can write z1 minus z2 is equal to modulus of z2 minus z3 is equal to modulus of z3 minus z1 we can put square on uh, in both the sides therefore z1 minus z2 so whole square is equal to z2 minus z3 whole square is equal to z3 minus z1 whole square here we can write since z conjugate of z is equal to z into conjugate of z is equal to modulus of z squares therefore we can write uh, z1 minus z2 square is equal to z1 minus z2 conjugate of z1 minus z z2 is equal to similarly for z2 minus z3 whole square we can write z2 minus z3 conjugate of z2 minus z3 and 
z3 minus z1 whole square we can write z3 minus z1 conjugate of z3 minus z1 if we solve it then we can get z1 minus z2 conjugate of z1 minus conjugate of z2 is equal to conjugate of z2 minus uh, is equal to z2 minus z3 conjugate of z2 minus conjugate of z3 z3 minus z1 conjugate of z3 minus conjugate of z1 is equal to kc therefore k which implies that k upon z1 upon minus z2 is equal to conjugate of z1 minus conjugate of two, z2 similarly k upon z2 minus z3 is uh, is equal to conjugate of z2 minus conjugate of z3 and k upon z3 minus z1 is equal to conjugate of z3 minus uh, conjugate of z1 adding them we get 1 upon z1 minus z2 plus 1 upon z2 minus z3 plus 1 upon z3 minus z1 is equal to 0 or 1 upon z1 conjugate minus z2 conjugate plus 1 upon z2 conjugate minus z3 conjugate plus 1 upon z3 conjugate minus z1 conjugate is equal to 0 it, which implies that sigma, uh, sigma z2 minus z3 uh, multiplied by z3 minus z1 is equal to 0 which implies that z2 minus z3 multiplied by z3 minus z1 is equal to 0 implies that sigma z2 z3 minus z2 z1 minus z3 square plus z1 z3 is equal to 0 implies that sigma z1 z2 plus z2 z3 plus z3 z1 minus z3 square minus z2 z1 z2 is equal to 0 which implies that 3 z1 z2 plus z2 z3 plus 3 z3 uh, z1 minus z1 square minus z2 square minus z3 square minus 2 z1 z2 plus z2 z3 plus z3 z1 is equal to 0 under root is, uh, therefore we can write this as as this uh, can proved this whole equation is now proved. Let us come to the next question. Find the condition in order that Z1, Z2, Z3 are vertices of an isosceles triangle. Z2 minus Z3 is equal to Z3 minus Z1 upon Z2 minus Z1 is, uh, multiplied by Z2 minus Z1 e to the power pi by 4 is equal to PR by PQ bracket Z2 minus Z1 e to the power i pi by 4 which is equal to root 2 Z2 minus Z1 e to the power i pi by 4 this, which we can write as equation 1. Also by rotating Q Z2 about R Z3 in clockwise direction Z1 minus Z3 is equal to Z1 minus Z3 modulus upon Z2 minus Z3 modulus multiplied by Z2 minus Z3 e to the power i pi by 4. PR upon PQR bracket Z2 minus Z3 e to the power minus i pi by 4 is equal to under root 2 z2 minus z3 e to the power minus i pi by 4 this is equation 2 bracket z3 minus z1 z1 minus z2 is equal to 2 z2 minus z1 z2 minus z3 z1 minus z3 whole square is equal to 2 z1 minus z3 bracket z2 minus z3 Find the area of a triangle on the argon diagram formed by the complex numbers Z1, Z, Iz, and 
z plus iz. Therefore, we have i is equal to 0 plus i dot 1 is equal to cos pi by 2 plus i sin pi by 2. In triangle ABC, AB is equal to z plus iz minus z is equal to iz is equal to modulus of i, I modulus of z. AC is equal to iz plus iz minus iz is equal to modulus of z. Area of the triangle is equal to half AB into AC that is half modulus z square. And this is the end of this topic. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel and give us a like sign. Please click on the bell icon so that you get automatic notification when a new video is uploaded by us. Thank you for watching our channel.